Welcome back. Super excited moving forward. I'm going to talk about in this lecture best practice or practices regarding GitLab Helm and charts. So we'll take a look at what those are briefly and then I'll list out some of the important best practices that you can actually utilize. So what is Helm within the GitLab arena? So it's basically a tool that streamlines installing and managing Kubernetes application. So think of that as a package manager, right? So it's, it serves as a manager that streamlines the installation and managing of the Kubernetes apps. It has two parts. First is the client version, which is called the helm. Literally, it means a wheel, right? A steering wheel of a, of a ship or a boat. And then the second part of helm is the server side, which is called the tiller. So the tiller runs inside of Kubernetes cluster and manages the releases installation of your charts. Helms also runs on your laptop or computer, the CI, CD, or wherever you want it to run. Charts are Helm packages that contain at least two things. So a description of the package, which is chart.yaml file, and one or more templates which contains the Kubernetes manifest files. Charts can be stored on a disk or fetched from a remote repository like Debian or Red Hat packages. So we get the basics of what Helm is all about and charts are. Helm is Kubernetes package manager like I mentioned earlier. A chart is a logical unit of Kubernetes resources. Okay, so just to further differentiate and understand. Charts can be installed again from a remote repository or local path. More importantly, the lifecycle management regarding Helm and charts, right? So the ability to have updates, rollback, testing, configuration management, and the most powerful feature is repeatability. So the focus here is the best practices for creating charts, but I'm gonna list out certain best practices next and primarily on the best practices for charts that may be publicly deployed. For example, which convention to use, the syntax to use, and so on. So chart names, as one of the first best practice, right, should always be lowercase letters and numbers. Words may be separated with dashes. We typically use that anyways, right? Pretty straightforward. So for example, you can have lowercase Drupal, Nginx, dash, logo, Lego, AWS dash cluster dash auto scalar, right? So this is a, a good way to use the chart names. The directory that contains a chart must have the same names as the chart. The nginx dash lego is a chart for the nginx ingress, which is the, the external IP, with optional support for automating and generating SSL certificates for managed routes. So just importantly the concept of chart names and the the best practice behind using chart names next a few more items that I want to list out of course there are several of them and I'm going to show you where to go and actually look for yourself as homework right and practice version numbers if you want to perform a best practice whenever possible Helm uses the SEM ver 2 or version 2 to represent version numbers the formatting of the YAML file should always be indented using two spaces and never tabs. And this is fairly common. I've seen people, in my experience, they always use tabs when creating the YAML file. And what should be done instead is should be indented two spaces. The usage of words like Helm, Tiller, Charts. Helm refers to the client side command, as I mentioned earlier. Tiller is the, the backend server. And chart needs to be in lowercase as talked about earlier. So just a few things that I want to list out here so that we understand when we're actually working with Helm, Charts, and Tiller. So just a key takeaway is the, the concept of our best practices regarding those. But before I end this lesson, I want to take you to the website of Helm where you can actually take a look at some additional best practices and key features. So here we are I'm in the browser right now. So all you have to do is just go to helm.sh and this is going to bring you to a page, the homepage of Helm itself, which is again, the package manager for Kubernetes. 
then Helm is the best way to find, share, and use software built for Kubernetes. So let me scroll down so you can actually take a look at it. We talked about this, right? It helps you manage Kubernetes apps, help charts to help you define, install, and upgrade even the most complex Kubernetes apps, and they're easy to use, version, share, and publish. So you can kind of go through this website, take a look. It's very helpful, right? So if you're getting more involved into the DevOps arena and more into the automation of DevOps from end to end, this is very helpful, especially if you're working with GitLab. So I encourage you to kind of take a look at this and I'll assign you as a homework as well. So I hope this helps practice with this. With this, let's move to the next lesson.